Okay, so when we bought the yurt, a company, Smiling Woods Yurts, put the wall panels together for us and the roofing and stuff. So that's part of the kit. And what they've done is they've written a number on the bottom of each panel, wall panel, that corresponds to one of the sides of this thing. And so far we've been doing a pretty good job. Right now, what I'm doing is <laughs> taking their little map that they've given me that corresponds to the the wall panel and writing where the wall panels are going around the edge. It's kind of a silly little thing, but hopefully that helps and speeds things up in the long run, right? That's what I hope. Anyway, wish me luck. <laughs> this is cool. We have been waiting for this for so long and it seems unreal that it is actually happening. We are uncovering this pile. Would you look at that? <laughs> There's a lot of cool things going on here, so it's time to have more words and less music. This was a wonderful and exciting day because we went from nothing but a flat floor to an entire house full of walls in about eight hours. Thanks to our two friends that we had come out and help us out up here. It was a wonderful day and we got a lot accomplished. Here's some interesting facts. First, these walls are free floating almost on this platform at the moment. We tacked down the first wall to the floor and then we've attached every wall to itself as we've gone around because in the end we have to get the door to fit inside. We also had to do some tricky finagling to make sure all the walls were flush to the front and to the top. If you remember all the work we did in part six to make sure that floor and rim joist was right dead on, it all paid off in this project. And you can see why we didn't have a circular floor. This is why we had a 24-sided floor, because each one of those wall panels are flat. And, you know, to make everything tight as we go down, we needed to make sure things fit just perfectly. So the door panel going in was kind of the moment of truth. We measured and we knew that it was really close, but as you can see here, it was just a little bit squeaky tight. Really, we were only three quarters of an inch shy of the perfect size and the design allowed for us to move the walls a little bit in a way to adjust it to fit. So this is the cool part. The trick we learned, it was actually our friend here that came up with the idea, was at this point pull out your pencil and mark the walls so as you move the walls around inside you know how much you've moved. And that's what we did. We made a pencil mark we went around with my big heavy mallet and we tapped the walls out until the door fit in. So here's a view of our handiwork. Man, this felt good. Felt good to be able to go around and see how things went. The next task was to put in our cable. Just like the modern canvas yurts, these walls are bound together and tensioned together with a cable and a turnbuckle. There's one here that we're showing you on the wall, and there will be two more up in the rafters just above this cable. And when they're all tensioned tight, it helps make it one solid structure. The most exciting thing was that 
in the end we found out that the lumber used in building these walls was very high quality these are very solid very well built walls I'm not concerned one bit about the structure of this particular yurt turned out looking great and we are so excited about it thank you all so much for watching if you haven't seen parts one through six I've made a playlist you can find the link to it in the description and at the end of this video make sure you watch all the parts if you're new to our channel thanks for joining us uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up you guys know what to do and of course subscribe if you want to see the next parts uh, especially part 8 what's coming up make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell next to the subscription button so you get an alert when my next video comes out thank you so much for joining us on our journey on simple ground yo Astrid what do you think you're doing in here it's like five feet up how'd you even get in here you like the view huh <laughs> I think she approves. I don't know. I'm not sure I approve. I don't really want a goat in my house. <laughs>